Welcome to the third episode of my NetData series. Today we're going to do the installation and basic configuration of Prometheus. Prometheus manages to be even easier to install than NetData as it only features one method, downloading and extracting an archive from the website. After that you only need to do some basic configuration to tell Prometheus that it should scrape your NetData server for its metrics. My system is now at the same configuration like uh, last video and uh, yeah now we have to download the installer uh, files uh, first or the, the pre-built files rather. So let's just go to prometheus.io slash download you'll find the link in the video description. Here we're just going to choose our operating system which is Linux and architecture seems fine and yeah this is the uh, file that we now have to download so you could download that right here and move that over to the machine but we don't want to do that it's a little bit of a hassle uh, because my machine is connected to the internet so we're just going to copy link location we just move that uh, we just go to slash opt rather and we're just going to download that right here sudo wget and now we are already downloading. Okay, once download is finished, we should be able to see that there is our archive that we just downloaded. Now to, well, get all the files out of there, which is to uh, sudo tar xf and then we tap the file name. And now we can see there's a new folder here, so we can actually remove Uh, that we should also sudo that, and now we can just uh, move that from Prometheus to well Prometheus, so we don't have like all this uh, file name stuff at the end there. That already looks a bit nicer. Now let's just go in there. As we can see, there are a couple of files in here. Prometheus is the actual executable that we have to run. And Prometheus, Prometheus.yml is our config that we have to modify here. Prometheus.yml. And then we can copy this down here to make our lives a little bit easier. We're going to give it a job name. Uh, I'm going to just call that netdata localhost. Well, let's do it netdata 101 as that's how I called my server here. So metrics path, uh, this defaults to slash metrics as it says here, but that's not the case for us. So we are just going to do metrics path. So the metrics path is essentially where Prometheus will try and read the metrics from your server. So for net data, this is just slash API slash v1 slash all metrics question mark format equals Prometheus. You can also just enter that into your browser to see how that looks like. And then we're obviously also going to call to tell it uh, the target where it should scrape its statistics. That's our net data server as we typed that into the browser yesterday. I'm just going to save that and then we're going to run Prometheus here like that um, yeah and now it says service ready and ready to receive web requests so now let's take a look at the uh, web UI for that you just paste in your IP address here again and then you're going to the port 1990 not 1990 90 90 or 9090 and here now see the uh, Prometheus uh, dashboard or the overview and you can go to status and you can go to targets and there you can now see our two endpoints so for one monitors itself and then our local host here our one data server as you can see this is up and last scrape was 9.912 seconds ago and seemed to have worked can also refresh that here as you can see this just counts up again and yeah so we can also take a quick look if it's working here we can just go to insert metric at cursor we can choose some 
metric that we want from here. Let's use net data disk backlog milliseconds average. Execute that, go on to graph, and as you can see, there's some stuff happening here. We can lower the duration here a little bit, and as you can see, this is collecting its stuff, and it's showing that uh, an interval of 15 seconds, basically. Okay, so to make our life now a little bit easier, and to not use up our entire uh, console session here, we want to uh, write a little script to start Prometheus. Later on, we will also take a look at how to register Prometheus as a proper service, but it's a little too much work for now. Just going to go to sudo nano and then the file name that we want to use. In my case, it's just going to be Prometheus.sh. It's not saying new file down here because it doesn't exist yet, obviously. And in here, we're just going to type nohub Prometheus space and then the ampersand. Save that. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I have uh, no hub also installed because this is a pretty bare bones system. But yeah, it seems like this is some standard DBN stuff. So we can just uh, execute that. Not already, we first have to uh, do to change uh, mode or ch mod or whatever plus x so we can also execute that and it's prometheus.sh okay now we can run it sudo dot slash prometheus.sh yeah the it has a uh, Hard time running that. Let's do this like that, and then this should work. Appending output to nohub.l. Now, if you refresh this, this side is still up. Everything seems to be working still. We can go back to uh, targets here. Its own is still unknown, and now it's also up. Perfect. Now that Prometheus is also up and running, you just have to lay back and wait for tomorrow when I will cover the final piece of software, Grafana. Until then, leave us up and have a great time. See you all tomorrow.